Hey everybody, it's Derek from CodeOpinion.com. Today I'm going to take a look at how we can resolve an issue that I've had, which is being able to return camel case or Pascal case JSON results for your ASP.NET Core Web APIs. So if you're new to ASP.NET Core, one thing you'll notice, uh, hopefully before this becomes a problem, is that by default, serialized JSON out to the client is now in camel case. And previously in the full framework in Web API 2, uh, Pascal case was the default. So this may cause you a little bit of grief. It's pretty easy to convert um, to go full Pascal case. But in my particular case, what I wanted to do is I wanted camel case to be the default, but I wanted to allow the client to define that they wanted, for example, Pascal case. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do is let the client pick which one they want, or rather let them define when they want Pascal case and let camel case be the default. So what I have is an ASP.NET Core uh, MVC uh, application here set up just in Visual Studio. The only thing I've changed here is I've just added this person view model for demonstration. It's got two properties, uh, a name and an email. And I'm, this is what I'm returning um, from this particular endpoint. So let's just run this and then I'll show you by default in Postman that um, camel case is the default. So here's the actual request. And we can see that name and email are in lowercase. So how can we allow our client to specify whether they want Pascal case? A couple of years ago, I actually ran into this using Web API 2. And I asked this question to Daryl Miller, who gave me the response of being able to use a profile as a standard way of layering um, some semantics on top of existing media types like application JSON. So that's what I went ahead and did. You can take a look at RFC 6906 that kind of outlines this. So thanks for Daryl for uh, pointing me into this direction. So one solution to this problem is creating an output formatter in ASP.NET Core MVC. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to create a class that's going to extend the JSON output formatter. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll call this one the Pascal case JSON profile. Uh, formatter. Seems like a long enough name. So like I said, we're going to extend that and we're going to have to implement the constructor here. So I'm going to get rid of the JSON settings, actually. And what we're going to do is So the serializer, JSON serializer settings is actually where you can define this. Uh, you could define this globally, like I said, because we want to do it per request and let the request define with the, the content type is ultimately what we're going to do here. So the uh, contract resolver is actually the property we can do. And by default, um, it's using this camel case property names contract resolver. And the Pascal case is actually the default. And it's still named that way anyways. And then let's just do array pool. All right, so what we're doing with this output formatter is on the way out for, for JSON output, but what we need to find specifically is that if the accept header of the incoming HTTP request is of application JSON, and a specific profile, then that's when this formatter is going to be used. So, uh, so the supported media types, I'm going to clear this out because of the default ones in there. And I'm going to add uh, our new media type that we're going to be looking for. And we're going to be looking for application JSON with a specific profile. The profile essentially should be a URI defining what it actually is that um, 
that the profile is about. And for the sake of the example, I'm just going to use the URL to the Wikipedia uh, about Pascal case. So that's essentially what this is here. So we've created our profile formatter. It's going to basically be looking for this accept header. And if this accept header um, is there, that's when it's actually going to use this formatter and it's going to be using uh, the default contract resolver, which is for Pascal case. So the only thing left we need to do here is actually add this into MVC so that it's aware of it. So what we can do up here is in our services, we can do MVC options. And the option we can give it is uh, output formatters. And we're going to add our new Pascal case formatter. And that's it. So we can run this now. And I'm going to show you both scenarios of how it was before with default uh, application JSON and our new um, application JSON with a profile. All right, so let's run this. And then I'm going to jump back to Postman and make this call again just to make sure. So we have our accept header. We're just accepting application JSON. And that stays the same. So now I have another request here I've made, which is application JSON with this profile that we've defined. And when we make the request, now we can see that our property names are in Pascal case. So Pascal case with this request, and just with normal application JSON, it's now camel case. So that's it. That's how easy you can use output formatters in a specific case, like solving the problem of letting your client define whether what casing they want, whether it's camel case by default or Pascal case with defining a profile. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more .NET related videos. Thanks.